And you say you used to break into stuff sneak all the time. Sneak in. Okay, yeah. Breaking break in, in sounds real bad. <laughs> I only broke into one okay, house one in. time. It was for drugs and he was a drug dealer. All right. I, I didn't even I just stole drugs. Look. I was a drug addict for the record. Come on. Okay, sneaking in. But you're like, oh, I used to sneak into things all the, the time. And I was a I professional. Had a crowbar. I had a crowbar. What? I, yeah, 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 well, I'm different now. I have money and I could buy a ticket to the show. I used to sneak in because I didn't have money. I didn't have four hundred dollars for fucking Coachella, so I was like, I'm gonna sneak into this bitch three days in a row. Or you just don't go. I'm not that kind of man. <laughs> I said I was going. I'm gonna go. I got drugs in my pocket. You told all your pocket. friends like I'm going. I'm going. I'll see you there. I'll see you there. <laughs> They're like, we were waiting in line. Where were you? I got mushrooms bagged up. Who needs? <laughs> they just them? see you on their side running from climbing. security. <laughs> I snuck into Coachella all three days in a row. And then she said, how would you sneak into this place? Yeah. And then we're scoping it out. I like the puzzle. It's fun. It's adrenaline. You could get tackled by security. Have I been tackled by security? Many times. Really? (laughs) No. Once or twice. I get away with it most of the time. You just smile? You just smile and they're like, okay. (laughs) Sorry, guys. You got me. (laughs) Are the zip ties necessary? Really? I surrender. Didn't you scale... The neighboring building to get back into a bar one time the club yeah yeah the club yeah i did i was 20 and had a fake id <laughs> i snuck in that was the that might have been the craziest one okay <laughs> i maybe did break into a building on that one but it wasn't like that i didn't rob them it was just to sneak in i broke into the restaurant next door to climb onto the roof to get onto the roof <laughs> of the club <laughs> but like i didn't drunk? take Wait, were you drunk when this happened or oh, you just yeah. wanted to drink? Oh, I'm drunk. Okay. Because I'm like, damn, These that's sober wild. Thoughts. Okay, I'm just making sure. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I mean, I was going, the buzz was wearing off. So I was like, I got to get in there. <laughs> yeah, old boy needs some hooch. And they got free bottle service. My sisters had tables and bottle service. And then I snuck in. Should I retell that story? That's a crazy story. It is a crazy story. Damn, man, that's some crazy shit. Shut the fuck up, Kamala Harris. Report junk. Both sides. Um, so this was a 20-year-old Craig. I had a fake ID, and I was going out clubbing with my sisters. We rarely went to Hollywood. Hollywood was like a once or twice kind of year thing. I was more a Hermosa Beach Bar guy. Mm. A dive bar, beach bar guy. And so... um. We drive my sister's 1996 fucking t- baby blue Ford Taurus. The one that looks like Herbie with the smile. You know, the oh, eyes. I love that. The little turtle looking one. I said, I, I, I got away from the police in that bitch. <laughs> in a fucking Ford Taurus. It was a center divider. It divided us. It wasn't that hard. Anyways, uh, that's another story. And uh, <laughs> so they we go to get in and I have a fake ID and I don't get in. So they all get in. I'm with um, my sister and all our homegirls. It was my favorite way to go out because it was me and like two to ten women. So I look like a king or a millionaire or a famous person or a don. I'm like, no, I'm little brother <laughs> tagging along. You know, <laughs> everyone was like, who is this guy? Why is he with <laughs> that eight was- women? Like, you know, and it was awesome. It's like I got I got free food and drinks. It was crazy and attention and. uh so they all get in, and then they say to me, don't worry, Philip." That's my middle name. They said, don't worry, Philip. Just go wait in the car. We're going to go party for like three or four hours. <laughs> and I was like, oh, fuck. And so I sit in the car, and we. this is the old school shit. There's a cassette player with the little cord auxiliary, like plugging in to a fucking Dell DJ. This is like Apple, I remember that. Apple One first generation. I went Dell because it was $150 cheaper. <laughs> That bitch lasted me like 20 years, though. That was a tank. Shout out to Dell DJ, RIP. And uh, I'll never forget this. Morrissey, How Soon Is Now, came on. And I listened to that song. And it's kind of like an epic song. It's in a lot of soundtracks. I was like, three or four hours. I was like, fuck this. I'm getting in. And I made my mind up. Everything is mental. Even when I was a drug addict. I know this is different. (laughs) This isn't manifesting. This isn't money. This isn't get the girl get the home get the dream this is like i'm getting in this shit would click i was like i don't care so next door to this club it was club element back in the day off of fucking hollywood and like ivar and shit 
that area, East Hollywood, Cherokee or some shit. And uh, so the club was next to this restaurant. And this restaurant had a back uh, open patio. And I was like, oh, I could hop in and break into this restaurant patio to then get on to the building of the, you know, the restaurants next door. I could get in somehow. Because there was like areas to sneak in, but they had these giant bouncers. And I was like, he's going to kill me. He's going to kill me. <laughs> They just, they choke you. I've been, I've been choked out. <laughs> oh my God. I have been tackled a lot now that I think about it. I've been in bouncers hands at least half a dozen times. <laughs> Damn. And they got a grip on them. You know, they go, wing, and crah, and all that. you feel your life squeeze. You're like, okay, big man. I give up. <laughs> okay, big guy. But I got, I got the dragon's blood. And, uh, so I, and also too, by the way, I sneak into the the wall on the restaurant side is low on my side. It's low. It's easily hoppable, right? So I just go whoom and I hop over. But on the other side, it was like steps. So it went down like super low. So like this side is like five feet, but then the drop is like eight feet. So I just remember going like, ah, you know when it's unexpected? Yeah. You know how scary that is <laughs> when you're expecting the ground at five feet, but it's at eight feet? You know, Damn. and I'm just like, what happened? Just <laughs> come on, like that hurt. So then I have to climb up like this chimney pipe on this building. <laughs> to, oh my God. To get on a ledge, to get on a, like a ledge that's that's like, like this one. I'm on a ledge on a house. You understand? <laughs> like I'm leaning on that. I climb up something to get on this ledge to then go on this ledge over to the building of the club. Am I explaining yeah. this correctly? So now I'm literally like, <laughs> if I lean back, I just fall back. There's not, you know, and it's like home alone. It's like, <laughs> it is, it is because I'm on this house and right here, like, I feel like I'm Joe Pesci, like, <laughs> you know, going, <laughs> just, it feels like a movie. And so right here, there's pipes I can hold on to. But then there's this area of house where there's just nothing. <laughs> so I'm like, don't lean back like, oh my what, God. What, what, what am i going to grab like the wood that's that's this you know there's nothing to grab it's a fucking house but i'm on the second story it's not that big of a fall but it's it's enough it's it could hurt r real bad <laughs> like what eight feet ten feet and so i shimmy on this house on this ledge <laughs> over like this to uh to the then the club building and there's like uh, wire wires, like cables with tarp over it. And so I grab the wire right here and I can't get through the tarp, but over down here, there's a hole in the tarp. So now I'm hanging on a wire, like no. legs, this dangling, <laughs> going down the wire to the hole in the tarp, pull myself up through the hole in the tarp. And now I'm on the roof of the building. I'm on the roof of the building. <laughs> And then I stand up and I cast like this 12 foot shadow on a, like, a, like a billboard or some shit. And I go, oh, God, like that's burnt. Like you, a 12 foot shadow in the night. Just a guy, long hair, just drunk, probably in a blazer trying to look hip. Hey, blazer, I got a Goodwill for three fucking bucks. And then I, I lay down and because I'm like, oh, shit. I lay down. I army crawl. I'm on the roof. Keep in mind, this is old school Hollywood buildings, dirt, tar, gross, you know, and just going like this. And then I look down and I army crawl across the building to the other side of the club. And I look down off the, the high, the high building, like one of those old school brick ones is where it's like one story, but it's not one story. Yeah. It's like two story or one and a half story. So I'm like one and a half story high. And I look down and there's a dumpster full of cardboard to the brim. And I just went, yes. And so I jump off the roof into the dumpster and you just hear this boom, just, just what you would think a 150 pound man falling 20 feet into a dumpster, a metal boom dumpster and make the loudest noise ever. I stay in there a little bit because I'm like, somebody's going to come. So I'm just going to hide in this dumpster for a minute or two. And I listen. Nobody comes. Hop out of the dumpster. 
to the side door of the club, but it's those two steel doors with no handle, no nothing. There's just the buttons, just the bolts, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You can only open it up from the inside. So I'm like, fuck. So then I pull out like my credit card or ID and start to like oh my- to like break in. <laughs> and when I'm doing that, I think somebody sees it because they kick open the door. And but the door like hits me. And I remember it hurt, but I didn't care. I was like, ah, oh yes. And then I pick up my shit. My like car- credit cards fell on the ground. I remember like I pick them up, look at them, and I just ran in. And then I call my sister. I'm in. And then I they see me, and I'm just dirty. I'm so dirty. I have black asphalt on me, trash probably. And then uh, I go wash up. And then we ended up partying with. Uh, Amanda Bynes was there, Fez, and some 41. All that peak fame. That's crazy. As a 20-year-old. Damn. That's wild. And I did shit like that on the regular. Like, I got off on it. Like, I got a little, I got got life in me right now. I was very tired and telling that story. I'm like, I want to do this again. That was fucking fun. That was fun. I like, like, small baby crimes. That's exciting. But nobody gets hurt. Like nobody's getting hurt. I don't want to rob nobody. Except you. I don't want to. Yeah, just me, just for funsies. <laughs> and uh, but yeah, that shit's fun. Like I get why Winona Ryder steals. Like I understand. <laughs> I get it. It's right here. It's for you. It's not for them. It's for your heart. You're like, no, yeah, I'm alive. I mean that. Like running from the police. You know, it's so dangerous. They could just kill you though. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I've ran from the police at least four times. Jeez, you get away with it sometimes. <laughs> they don't tell you that. So you only got caught once by the police, or we would just run. Room? Like stuff would happen, and, and I would run. be involved. I just run. <laughs> you know, like this is mainly just drunken bar shit. Mm-hmm. Hermosa Beach. You know, when stupid fights or whatever, I, I don't even, I couldn't tell you. Like, people would, like, stick around and, like, oh, I'm, like, okay. I'm gone. The second yeah. I hear any Cop. thing, I'm more a one-punch-run kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out of here. 